guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be taking you guys on a shop with me trip. We're gonna to go to Crate and Barrel, World Market, and Home Goods. And then after the video, I'm gonna bring everything that I got home and show you guys a little haul. So stick around, it's gonna be a fun video. Let's go see what we can find. Hey guys, so we just got to Crate and Barrel. So I am looking for a couple pieces for my kids' room that I'm gonna be kind of redecorating and doing a little bit of work on. So I'm looking for a few pieces, maybe like some type of toy storage, a rug, um, yeah, things like that. So let's go in and see if we can find anything. So this is the Crate and Barrel warehouse or outlet warehouse. So things are marked down, way down. Um, and right up front, they have a lot of outdoor furniture. I'll link as much as I can for you guys below. It won't be warehouse price online, but if you see something you like, you can snag it. They had several of these. These are the Bongo side tables and they have them in two different sizes. They're very modern, but very pretty. So I came here looking for storage solutions for my kids' room. So this is the Hampshire desk. I don't think they really need a desk, although this does come from the Crate and Kids section from Crate and Barrel. Um, they had this bookshelf, which is kind of similar to what I'm looking for, but I think it's just not big enough. So reading the tags can be a little complicated here. So that bottom price right there is what they're asking for right now. And all those other prices are retail at the top and then what it has been marked down to. But that bottom price is what they're asking for currently. This is the Hampshire small bookcase, and I feel like it's a little bit too small for what I'm looking for, but this is the Brady Mint table. This is so adorable, and it's really, really pretty color. Um, I believe this goes for $159 online. And then these little cubbies, so I really liked these, although they were a tad bit different, if you can see that little front accent piece on there. Although that brown box did have a matching pair, so there was always that option. This bookshelf is so adorable. This is the Anders White Cube bookcase, and it was marked down to 119, although it did have a little crack right here. And this guy stole my heart, it is so adorable. This is the robot bookcase, from Creighton Kids and it is so cute. A little too futuristic for my boys room, but it is really adorable. So checking out some of the other items they had, this is a set of the Oxford two nightstands and they also have like a match dresser and other pieces like that in this set, but this is always a showstopper. These always catch my eye, they're really pretty. These white storage units were really, really pretty. They had one with the solid door and then three with the glass door. And I loved the glass door, although those would not work in my kids' room just because they're glass. <laughs> that would not be good. This desk is so gorgeous. This is the Peekaboo acrylic desk from CB2. And this was marked down to, I think, $6.99, regular price over $1,100. So that was a really good markdown. This chair, my sister has this exact one. She's well-worn interiors on Instagram. Um, this one had a little rip in the seam, but fixable. And Crate and Barrel and CB2 always have a huge selection of chairs and accent chairs, lounge chairs. There's always a lot to look at here. And I did find this gorgeous couch. Um, it was missing some of the back pillows, which you could find replacements for online. Um, and it was only $6.79 for both pieces, $6.29. This one is called the Arlo, but it is not sold online anymore. So checking out the World Market Outlet, there is a lot to see here and everything is always marked down really, really well. So this is a great place to shop. And keeping my boys' room in mind and what I am here for, I really liked these. They actually have something very similar to this on Pottery Barn Teen. This would be really cute to put up like little papers or pictures or little things that are important to them. They had these really cute mirrors and these were marked down to $99 a piece. I love this kind of aged brass look and those little hooks right on the top, really pretty. These chairs always catch my eye because I love the black and the lines on these, but it always throws me off because I think they're just a little bit too much of a high back for my dining table. I'm always looking for new dining chairs for my table. I just haven't found the right ones yet. 
Those are called the Cameron and I will link those below. Okay, so this desk caught my eye. It is really, really pretty. It's a really good size and they had this marked down to 149 and even this chair was really cute too. I think the chair was 79, but I loved that age brass look again on the legs and those little casters, really, really cute. But this desk was an amazing deal, but I just bought a desk, so I don't need another one. These pots were really, really neat, but this basket specifically caught my eye. It said $30. I will link this one online. They have this one online. So moving on to home goods, my camera messed up and did not record this little storage unit. With that said, they had this one and another one that was almost identical to the Crate and Barrel one. So if you liked the one at Crate and Barrel, don't be afraid to check out home goods. There are a lot of great similar looking items for a fraction of the price. Home Goods always has a lot of really cute kids items. This little car basket rolled. I thought it was so sweet. A little bit too young for my kids, but if you're looking, check out Home Goods. It's really cute. Home Goods had a lot of kids desks and chairs. These were really neat. They were a great deal for $49. They are a kid size, so these little chairs are still so adorable. That kind of farmhouse style, but they were only $24.99 and I loved that kind of grayy beige color. Those would look so cute with that mint table from Crate and Barrel. I found this really pretty framed art piece. It was $16.99. I loved the colors on that. This lamp kind of caught my eye. I really liked the colors, kind of that modern vibe for $99.99. It's kind of a neat. This one also caught my eye. It was leaning a little bit. It had a really pretty marble base. It was really heavy. And then it just had the single little lamp at the top. But I was thinking more of painting this. It was marked down to $25, but I couldn't get past the lean. I don't know if it could be fixed, but it was leaning a tad. So I passed on that. The material on this chair is almost identical to what is on my couch. It's so funny how you're drawn to like things that you already have. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but I really liked the shape of this little chair. So right when I saw this rug, it was almost exactly what I was envisioning for my boys room. Very, very similar to what I had in mind. So it was a five by eight for 129 and it is the softest rug. It's kind of a high low pile, which would be perfect for their room. I will definitely be needing some storage type things for their room. I'm just not 100% sure yet, so I might wait on those, but I always like these. They have them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I always pick these up. Um, these are from the Martha Stewart collection, and I just love, they smell like hay. <laughs> it's kind of random, but uh, I may go back and pick those up. I always check out the baskets because you can never ever have too many baskets and we are gonna need some type of storage for like Xbox and gaming consoles and all that fun stuff. But I loved that brown in that basket kind of weaved in there. I just thought it was really pretty. So I always check out the blankets. They have some really pretty waffle weave type blankets. This one was marked down to $15 and I really liked the colors on that. It was really pretty. And then they had a lighter one with the little fringe on the end or tassels. This blanket is a Barefoot Dreams dupe. It is actually from Nicole Miller, but I thought this was so cute for like a little girl. It has the little hearts on the bottom. I just loved this. Really, really, really soft. So I will link the Barefoot Dreams one. If you guys are interested, these blankets are amazingly soft. They make really, really great gifts. So I'll link that for you guys below. Make sure you guys stick around for the haul and you can see what I brought home. Okay, so we are back home now and I'm gonna share with you guys what I picked up from that shopping trip. I am specifically looking for things for my boys room. We're kind of thinking about redecorating, maybe doing an accent wall, some DIYs in there and just making it a space for them. So I kind of wanted to get a little bit of inspiration and pull some decorative pieces that I could kind of work off of. So I do have a mood board that I kind of created 
and it's giving me a little bit of inspiration for colors and kind of a vibe that I want in there for them. So with that said, I found these pillows, which green kind of is one of the colors that is in the mood board. So I thought that these were really cute and I got them from Crate and Barrel. Um, and when I say Crate and Barrel, I shop at the Crate and Barrel warehouse. So everything is discounted and really inexpensive. So that is definitely my way, favorite way to shop. Um, most definitely but so yeah I got two of these and they have bunk beds so I thought that these would be really cute um, they're gonna need new bedding so I don't know I just thought that they were kind of modern um, I liked this green color and of course they came with the insert and these were I think they were 14 a piece and that comes with the insert so I just thought that that was a really good Okay, so I thought that these were a really good pick just because of the colors, the quality, and the insert. So if you guys are interested in these, I will link them below. Um, these are called, I believe, the Sirocco. I may be not pronouncing that right, but I will link them below, and I think they are online right this moment at Crate and Barrel. So um, I'll link those below for you guys. Okay, and the next thing that I got from Crate and Barrel, kind of a more um, accent piece or little accessory was this little succulent. Um, it's a little aloe. This is the nine inch, really, really cute. And the thing that I like about their faux plants is that they're really good quality. They don't look super cheap. They actually are kind of a nicer faux plant. Um, and I just liked this little base that it came in. It has like the little moss in there and I just thought this was super cute. So um, I'll kind of show you guys everything like together and show you how everything kind of vibes together. It just looks all really cute when it's all styled together. Okay, and the last thing I got from Crate and Barrel, I really didn't get that much from there. This little three by three acrylic frame. I think they call it the acrylic block frame online and they did have a bigger one which I wanted the bigger one but then I ended up just getting the smaller one because the bigger one had like a crack in it but I just thought this was so cute so I want to put a little picture like a little black and white picture of the boys in there they share a room so I thought that, that would be cute and then I will show you guys these styled I think they look so cute with everything together, like I said. Okay, and the next thing I got was from World Market, and it's kind of big, so I'm gonna try and show you guys. Um, this is the Bamboo, this is the Natural Bamboo Becca basket, and this is the large size. So I don't know how I'm gonna use this in their room. I'm thinking possibly putting um, like a faux plant in here. Um, yeah, just, I don't know, I'm not sure. Either a faux plant, I would like to have a real plant in there, but I don't know about that in a kid's room. So um, possibly a faux plant, possibly toys, although I just don't, I like things with toys to have like a lid kind of to conceal them, but you never know, we can maybe work something out. But yeah, I just thought that this was really, really pretty I love all the texture I love these warm tones and it kind of gives off I don't know almost like a Palm Springs kind of modern vibe if that um, makes sense so yeah I thought that was really cute okay, and the last thing I got I did not oh actually I did get two things from home goods um, this I just fell in love with so my oldest has a piggy bank my youngest does not and they love collecting change and cash and all that fun stuff so um yeah he needed one i thought this was so cute because it's modern he loves dinosaurs so i thought this was really cute this was at home goods and it was only 9.99 so i thought this would be a cute little accessory for their room so the last thing that I got, I am just gonna do voiceover while I share it with you guys, but I ended up finding this rug from 
home goods and this is by dynamic rugs and this rug you guys so I loved it when I found it I think it was 125 or 129 and it was marked down on clearance and so I was like okay I really like this these are the colors that I need it's really pretty it's good quality so it's a five by eight so it should fit I think it'll be okay um, but I brought it home and just started looking at it more and I was like gosh I really like this it's so soft so I ended up looking at it online or looking for it online and you guys that rug retails on like homedepot.com at home at other stores like Wayfair other places online it's a $1,500 rug I was like dang okay so I did good on that rug I have never heard of that brand dynamic rugs but it must be really good a lot of the things that I'm seeing online from them are really high-end but it is a hundred percent wool rug so that's probably why it is really 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 nice so I'm so glad that I found it that was a really great find okay so with that that is going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I know my haul wasn't that much but let me know in the comments below if you guys like these types of videos I would love to do more hauls I'm just not sure if you guys would like to see them or not so let me know in the comments below and yeah that's gonna be it so thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot of fun makeovers I'm gonna be sharing a lot of these the room process with you guys and breaking that up into individual videos and fun stuff like that so make sure you guys are subscribed and we'll catch you next time thanks for watching